Here's a list of 10 fun summer vacation math activities for your young learners to keep math on the mind this summer. Number one, play math games. Games are great for summer vacation math activities. There is such a wide variety of games these days that can be used to practice math skills and keep students engaged both in school and out of school. Card games. Use a deck of cards you have lying around the house or that you can buy for $1 at the Dollar Tree to help practice different math skills this summer. Cards can be used to practice math skills in every elementary grade, from counting and subitizing in kindergarten to multiplying large numbers in grade five. One deck of cards can lead to so many uses. Check out some activities listed in the article from weareteachers.com that shares over 20 math card games that you can use with your learners today. Board games. Go old school and play board games like Scrabble or Monopoly to practice math skills naturally to count points, movement, or amount of money each time you or your learner passes go and collects $200. Or find a new board game to practice specific math skills such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or fractions like the games Target, Sum Swap, or Fraction City. Check the description below for more new math themed games. Two, watch math YouTube videos, songs, raps, how-to videos, and more. Keep math learning fun and interactive by watching videos. A lot of songs and chants can be learned to remember certain concepts. Songs can also support learning about and identifying different patterns. Does your learner need more help with the skill? Look it up on YouTube. You'll more than likely find a video related to the skill you're searching for. Even if your young learner already knows the skill, give them more time to practice it and get better. Look for different ways that they can solve certain problems or identify some common mistakes. Check out some of these great YouTube channels for more learning in math. Three, take fun math classes online over the summer. Have fun and get extra support with online classes on marketplaces like OutSchool offers. There are live classes and pre-recorded classes. Some are one-time classes and some last for one or more weeks. There are so many options. Help your learner get a better understanding of a skill that maybe was not picked up on during the school year. Or take a fun class with something that connects to an interest of theirs, like relating math to basketball or video games. Four, attend one-on-one -on -one math tutoring sessions. Get the personalized and guided support your learner needs. I think all kids should have a tutor. That could be a parent, sibling, or a high professional. This is to give one-on-one -on -one guidance to help meet their needs in math beyond the whole group setting of the classroom. Tutoring makes learning more personalized. It allows for more just-in-time support rather just in case. Errors and misconceptions can be addressed right away rather than when students work alone. In addition to during the school year, summer is a great time to work with a tutor to get help with specific math skills at the pace that works for them. Find a math tutor in your local area or choose an online tutoring company that fits the needs of your learner. Some popular tutoring programs are ones like Remind Tutoring, Varsity Tutors, or Teachers One-on-One. -on -One. Five, math websites. Math websites are great for summer vacation math activities. Another way to give your learners an opportunity to practice more math skills over the summer is to try out a few math websites, specifically the websites that provide multiple practice problems in a variety of concepts and give instant feedback. If they are working with a parent, teacher, or tutor nearby, the feedback is usually given by that adult. If they are working independently, one of these websites will be very beneficial because they give instant feedback. Instant feedback is helpful in the fact that it prevents students from solving a type of math problem incorrectly over and over again. If a student makes an error in the process of solving a problem once or twice, that is okay. But if they continue to make that same error without any feedback, that provides a correction, it will be more difficult to fix the way they solve the problem incorrectly later on. A few of the websites even show a quick guide to understanding the skill for those who get it wrong and need a bit more help. Some of them cost a fee, some have free trials for a certain amount of time, and some are free. Three websites to practice math skills over summer vacation can include Khan Academy, iXL, and Common Core Sheets. Six, 
elementary math workbook activities. This option is for those who want their learners to be away from the computer for chunks of time or completely and whose learners like to write on paper. It's still a good choice for those who like the mix of printables and digital material. Workbooks are another great option for continuing the learning experience in math over summer vacation. Similar to the different math websites, math workbooks offer different worksheets of problems that cover a variety of skills based on grade level or topic. However, they typically cover a topic for only one or two pages. So if your learner needs more support with a specific skill, it would be better to choose a workbook solely focused on a skill such as addition, fractions, or geometry rather than one that covers the entire grade level. You can find workbooks at physical stores like Barnes & Noble, Walmart, or even Dollar Tree. Or they can be purchased from publishing companies through company websites like Scholastic, Carson DeLosa Education, or even find them on Amazon. You can even get more specific learning workbook materials created by teachers and educators by searching on marketplaces such as Teachers Bay Teachers, Etsy, and other teacher blogs and websites. Whatever you choose, remember to go back through and check your child's work and answers. With workbooks, students don't get instant feedback when working independently, unlike with the online programs, so errors may occur without them realizing it. Seven, math puzzles. Another fun activity is playing logic puzzles. These can be physical or paper-based. I love solving a Sudoku puzzle every now and then. They are great for kids too. Sudoku is a puzzle made up of a grid that needs to be filled with a digit, zero through nine, in each row and each column. Digits cannot be repeated in any row or column. Sudoku puzzles come in levels of easy, medium, or hard and can include small or large grids. So that is a paper-based puzzle. A physical option to a Sudoku game would be the Color Cube Sudoku game, where it mixes the idea of a Rubik's Cube with Sudoku and uses colors instead of numbers, where the colors cannot be repeated in any row or column. That and other logic puzzles make learners think and reason about their choices. They can't just put an answer and move on. All or most of their answers connect and affect other answers or steps. Try out a few fun math logic puzzles with your learners today on a website like mathmashup.com. These are the types of tasks that when struggling or slightly stuck, a learner may get frustrated or grunt a little bit. But it's that fun frustration of knowing that you're so close to completing the puzzle. And then when it's finally completed, you have that ultimate feeling of accomplishing something great. Eight, practice math facts. Practice for fluency and automaticity when appropriate. A great time to solidify those math facts learned the previous year is during the summer, but in a really fun way. Don't let it be a boring experience for kids or just do what we call kill and drill with time tests. If your learner likes time tests, then great. But research has shown that most students don't like it and it causes them to get anxious. Practice addition or multiplication facts in fun ways like with dice, movement, skip counting in the car, or get art involved. Try a few of the examples from the articles or videos included in the description below. Read Fluency Without Fear, research evidence on the best ways to learn math facts, or watch Nine Fun Ways to Teach Math, or read about 20 Fun and Engaging Ways to Practice Math Facts. Nine, read math stories and books. Mix the love of reading with the world of math. If a student loves math, it doesn't mean that they have to dislike or not be as good at reading and vice versa. Let's mix the two together. Get students more interested in different math concepts through books. Just like the math videos help students find patterns through counting books. Learn about other struggles and accomplishments in math through books. Read them online on a website like Epic Books or purchase them at a bookstore or on Amazon. And never forget that most have access to a local library where you can expose students to the entire world all through a book. 10. Explore with math manipulatives. Create and explore with math manipulatives. Ask questions and discover new patterns. Many learners like to play with math manipulatives as if they were toys. They're usually led away from these actions because of a lack of time for exploration. In the summer, let them play with the math manipulatives. Let them explore and use their imaginations to build things. Let them find connections and more patterns as they work with the different tools. You can still connect it back to a math concept, skill, or specific standard. Watch their imagination grow as they use math manipulatives like pattern blocks, base 10 blocks, 
hang legs, tangrams, color tiles, or connecting cubes to build buildings, houses, or create beautiful art pieces. Try out a math manipulative kit in order to combine different concepts and skills for even more exploration.